Today, we're going to be looking at this Ledger Nano X crypto hardware wallet. If you've been paying attention to the news, the latest exchange to go down and taking everybody's money with it was FTX. It's really important that you have your money stored in your own hardware wallet and not some exchange. Because when it's on the exchange, they can do whatever they want with it. You're not in control. They are. So we'll be installing this on a Windows machine. Finally, we're going to make some transfer from Coinbase and Binance Exchange into this hardware wallet. So first, go to the website and download the software for Windows 10. Click on the hardware wallet that you have. For me, it's the Nano X. Let's set up a new Nano X. Click on continue. Click on continue. Click on continue. Continue again. Let's do this. It takes about 30 minutes, so make sure that you have at least 30 minutes. And click on OK, I'm ready. Now it's a good time to connect your Nano X into the uh, computer. It is USB-C cable. Go ahead and flip the metal casing around and out of the way. As soon as you connect it to your computer, it should be lit up. If it doesn't, go ahead and press either button to wake it up. Click on Next Step. The whole software is pretty straightforward and it actually guides you from A to Z. Click on I understand. Go ahead, set up the pin code. Use the left or right button to go up or down. And then press two buttons at the same time to confirm. So first create your pin code and then re-enter the pin code again. Check the box that says I understand that you must not lose this recovery phrase or else if you lose it, it's gone. All of your money will be gone. With the recovery phrase, they're going to give you 24 words. Go ahead and write it down. And then next, you have to repeat the same process to confirm that you have all 24 words in the correct order. Whatever you do, you must hide your recovery phrase. Don't take a picture of it. Don't save the file in your computer because if you ever get hacked, then you're going to lose all of your money. Interestingly enough, once you're all done, it's going to give you a mini quiz. And this is a... Um, Refresh of what you've just learned. At Ledger really, really wants you to understand the whole process of what's going on. Click on next step, check my nano, I already have mine connected so just enter the pin one more time to unlock it. Oh yeah and this is what happens if you don't touch the nano x for a while it's going to go back into sleep mode with a cute little screensaver. If you ever have to do something with the computer again just unlock it using your pin. So once I enter the pin it verifies that my ledger is legit and click on continue. Most likely your Nano is shipped with firmware that's out of date. So go ahead and click on my ledger. So if you see an update firmware, go ahead and click on update firmware. Check the box that says I have my recovery phrase and click on continue. Firmware updating takes about two minutes. Verify what you see on the screen is the same thing on your Nano X. If it is, press two buttons to confirm that it matches. If they match, go ahead and press the two buttons as instructed on the screen. It's going to go ahead and do some more updating. 
If it asks for your PIN, go ahead and enter your PIN in the Nano X. Once you're done with firmware update, go ahead and start installing Bitcoin, Ethereum, or whatever coins you have. Let's start adding some accounts. So the first thing I did was uh, Bitcoin. Click on the accounts on the left hand side. Add a new account and name it whatever you want. I have mine just in consecutive order from 1, 2, 3, and 4. It's interesting to note that every time you add an account, the Bitcoin has different protocols. There's the native SegWit, Taproot, SegWit, and Legacy. Once you're done setting up the accounts, go ahead and connect your Nano X back into your computer if you haven't already done so. If it asks you for a PIN code, go ahead and enter the PIN code in your Nano X. Here you can see that I'm connecting my ledger back in and entering my PIN. Let's go into accounts. There's nothing in there right now. So first we're going to transfer some money into this ledger from Coinbase. I'm going to choose my account with native SegWit. Click on receive. Click on continue. Open the Bitcoin app on your Nano X. It's going to give you the address for this Bitcoin account one. Copy the address and I highly recommend pasting it into Notepad and verify that the address matches what Ledger gives you. Take your time. This is not a race, okay? Because if you send to the wrong address, your money is gone. Verify the address matches on your computer screen as well as on your Nano X. If you want to do one more time, click on verify. I'm actually doing this the first time for you in this video, so that's why I'm verifying the address again and again and again. Once you're ready, click on done. Now let's go to Coinbase. Click on send and receive. Make sure that you're in the send tab and choose the asset that you want to send. I'm going to choose Bitcoin. Paste the address in. If this is your first time, then I highly recommend sending a small amount like $100 to verify that everything is working perfectly. Go ahead and grab your trusty notepad and verify that the address matches one more time. If it looks good, click on continue. And the fee is this amount as of December 5th. I'm going to open Google just for you to see how much this amount is in fees to US dollars. So it's about 50 cents to send $100. Not bad. When you're ready, click on send now. Once you click on send now, it's going to ask you to verify one more time. And I highly recommend that you have a hardware key to verify who you say you are. Or you can always use a Google Authenticator app to verify. All right, once you confirm that you want to send the money, it will take about less than 30 minutes. For me, it was about five minutes or less. Now that you've mastered Bitcoin, let's do Ethereum next. Click on account, click on add Ethereum. Click on continue. Open the Ethereum app on your device. Name it whatever you want and then click on add account. Click on done. With Ethereum, there's only one protocol it seems. So if you try to add more accounts, it won't do it because there's only one Ethereum. If you want to add more accounts into Ethereum, you have to deposit an amount into that first Ethereum and then you can create the second account for the second Ethereum. So for now, we're stuck with one Ethereum account. The process for sending Ethereum from the exchange to your Nano X is pretty much the same. When you click on receive, it will give you an address. Copy that address into Notepad and verify. If it looks good in Notepad, go ahead and verify the same thing, the same address in your Nano X. I'm 
again, it's very important that you verify that the address matches because otherwise you will be sending your money into nowhere land. This is my first time transferring Ethereum, so that's why I'm going to verify again and again. Here we are in Coinbase, so I'm going to click on Send and Receive. We're sending the money from Ethereum straight into my Ledger wallet. So go ahead and choose Pay with Ethereum. Send to the address that your Ledger gave you. Paste it in. Verify one more time. Once you're satisfied, click on Continue. It's going to give you a network fee. If you're content with that network fee, go ahead and click on Send Now. Just for curiosity, how much is 0.0004 Ethereum? Well, let's see. Let's open Google up and see. So to send about $5,000, it will cost about 56 cents. Not bad. Click on Send Now. I have my YubiKey, so I'm going to tap my YubiKey to verify I am who I say I am. Now let's see how long it takes to send 4.3 Ethereum to Ledger. Spoiler alert, it will take less than 5 minutes. Boom, there you go. Less than 1 minute actually. You know what's kind of interesting? I noticed that when I was using Coinbase, I was transferring to this Ledger via this protocol, Native SegWit. But when I was using Binance to transfer into my Nano X, I was using this protocol of SegWit. I'm not sure if it matters or not, but I think it does matter. So whatever you do, when you transfer from the exchange to your Ledger hardware wallet or whatever wallet you're using, make sure that you're talking with each other on the right protocol, on the same protocol, I should say. Alright, hopefully this helps you feel more comfortable taking control of your Bitcoins, of your Ethereum, of all your crypto coins. Whenever you go to online forums, they'll say you the same thing over and over again. If it's not your keys, then it's not really your money. And in this case, you can see what happened with the people who put all their money on the FTX exchange. I really appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel, and thanks for watching.